Log into gupshop.io using your GitHub account and click on the My Bots tab to create a new bot. Gupshop.io has a tool called the Bot Builder that helps you create bots in a Jiffy. The bot builder includes a simple code editor, a publishing mechanism and a diagnostics program amongst other features that significantly simplifies the process of building a chatbot. The bot builder also provides single click secure server deployment for your chatbot, eliminating the need for your own server. You can also test out the conversational aspects of your chatbot using the built-in emulator given in the bot builder. There are multiple benefits to using the bot builder tool. It is definitely more efficient and time-saving since a lot of the grunt work involved in creating a functioning chatbot is automated. The bot builder also reduces the development time since it gives you the option of instant testing and deployment. Let's now create a simple chatbot using the bot builder. There are few methods given to a user when a new bot is created. The message handler is the method that executes when your bot is communicated with. It has two parameters context and event. You can pass what message was sent to your bot using the event.message. Your bot can then reply using the context.send response prompt. Let us reply to a message that says hi with a hello. Test your code using the built-in emulator. Now, reply to hello with a message that includes the user's name. Hit the deploy button to deploy your bot. Now, test this bot on Slack by using the Gupshop proxy bot. A proxy bot is a bot created by Gupshop that will mirror the bot that you have just created. We have proxy bots on various messaging platforms for your testing purposes. Look for the Gupshop proxy bot on the Slack app page and add it to your Slack instance. Go to the Gupshop proxy bot on Slack and type proxy followed by a bot name to invoke the bot you have just created. Type in hi and hello to test out your bot. You can also add in conversational aspects to your bot. Here, let's build a simple bot that asks the user which publication they prefer and then use the publication's RSS feed to display a headline and link to the day's top story. The bot that you have just created is stateless. The bot builder offers data persistence so that you can store bot and user preferences to enhance the usability of your chatbot. There are two variables that you can use for data persistence, bot level data and room level data. Bot level data is the global data for a bot across all messaging channels and users. This data is accessible to the bot for all the conversations with all the users from different messaging channels. Room level data corresponds to the user level data for a conversation between a bot and a user on each messaging channel. Here, let's use room level data to store the user's preference.
Now most bots will need to make HTTP calls to send and receive data. The bot builder offers methods to make and handle HTTP calls. The make get property makes a HTTP get call to any URL. A response to this make get call is handled by the HTTP response handler method. Here, let's use the JSON version of the publication's RSS feeds. In the HTTP response handler method, pass the JSON to display to the user a single headline and a link to the story. Now, publish your bot to Slack using the Bot Builder's Publish functionality. First, create a Slack app on api.slack.com slash applications. This step is done because you have to create a Slack application to package and distribute your bot user. Copy the redirect URI from Gupshop's publish page. Next, click on the bot user section and add a bot user to your app. Next, Click on App Credentials and copy your client ID and client secret to the Gupshop Publish page. Then hit Submit. This generates an Add to Slack button which will add the bot to your Slack instance. Your bot is now live on your Slack instance.
Gopshop is the easiest and quickest way to build bots across any messaging channel. Build, test and deploy a bot in minutes.